this is my first Friday night at Fright Fest for 2024. And as usual, I'm starting off with Screaming Eagle. Surprisingly, nobody is up here at Catwoman yet. I think the reason behind that is because Joker Carnival of Chaos over there just opened last week. Because of that, everyone is heading over there for a spot. Yes, so it's surprising that no one else is over here at Catwoman. That doesn't concern me because A, I don't like this ride, and B, the sign right ahead of me says that wasps could be an issue. So I'm gonna avoid Catwoman probably for the rest of my life because I rode it once in May. Not a fan of it. We're just waiting for Screaming Eagle to open and we'll be first rider on that. to a great start. I was on front row red train, first ride of the day, and the train went out dispatch. So they're down right now for technical difficulties. And I don't know if the curse is real or whatnot because I am in a Revenge of the Mummy t-shirt, but I do have the Magi on, which hopefully that's helped make things better. Not in this case, it backfired. So instead of starting off with Screaming Eagle, we're gonna make the boss my first ride of the day, which is right back here somewhere. I don't know if you guys see the sign, it's back there. Hey guys, time to go 65 miles an hour. Fall from 150 feet. I hope you guys are ready, because here we go. You don't know how many seats are on the balls. to Ellis and we got second ride of the day on Boss. How was it? We got trimless on it, man. We did, but I will say that felt kind of slow for a trimless ride. I've definitely seen better trimless rides on that thing in the past. We have some unfinished business to yeah. take care of because if you guys saw the vlog we shot from Daredevil Days last week, you know that he and I were trying to hit some milestones on Justice League, but the ride went down multiple times at the end of the night and it cost us our chances of hitting the milestone. So I am four off of 1800, year three away from 300. We got to take care of that before something happens, which Boss, I mean, it was good Good ride, but I don't know. Good way to start the day though, regardless. Welcome to the 300 club. You yeah. just got your 300th max score. Finally did it, y'all. So he got his 300th, and now I gotta get my 1800th. And if you guys are enjoying this video so far, keep watching to the end because this will be a two day vlog. Now that I just got my 1800th max score, we righted the wrongs from last week. And unfortunately, on that ride where I got 1800, you did not have a good blaster. At least we're even now, so. That is true. Now we're gonna ride Mr. Freeze because we did four rides on Justice League because I was four off of 1800 while Ellis was only three off of 300. So we've been waiting to do Mr. Freeze until we hit those milestones. So let's do a couple laps on it while we're over here because I only rode it once last week and I really want to ride it multiple times today. <laughs>
as Mr. Freeze went down and they said it was cause of weather, which I don't know. I literally just checked the weather and I didn't see any signs of storms coming. Yeah. So I don't understand why they're shutting it down because of it. Yeah, I mean, you look right back up here. It does look like that could be our culprit, those clouds over there. So we're gonna go try and get on American Thunder in case that also closes for weather, but man, not exactly off to a great start. <laughs> because I was a red train that we saw. Alice and I got front row blue train. That was a lot better than I was expecting it to be. What'd you think? It was smooth as always, just like the blue train on Eagle always is. So or almost always good. is. Didn't have a ton of room, but the ride was still good. Definitely better than Boss, although that's not really much of a high bar to clear because Boss I thought wasn't that good because even though it was trim, it was riding pretty slow. We're gonna try the back row of the blue train now, see how it compares. And because Freeze is still down. <laughs> American Thunder back row was excellent. It's very rare that I find the back row of the blue train to be better than the front of the blue train. Today was an exception to that. Freeze update, still down for weather. So we're gonna go over and ride Boss, then try and do Scream and Eagle, and then actually get a night ride on River King Mine Train. I haven't done a night ride on that thing in years. So it'll be cool to get on that at night for the first time in God only knows how long. <laughs> like I said, it's been a long time. Boss is first, let's hang up this direction. <laughs> in a row on Mr. Freeze. Two in the front, one in the back. How was it? It was flying tonight, dude. Yeah, it was running really good. Yeah. I would say definitely the best ride today, although we haven't done any night rides besides maybe American Thunder. It was more of a dusk ride than a night ride, but we got another train coming out here. Let's see if this one rolls back. I have yet to catch a rollback on film. I want to see if this is the time we're catching. Maybe lit up there. And that is over. No rollback to be seen here. Got a night ride on the boss and Screaming Eagle and boss I thought was the better ride than night ride for tonight. Eagle was still good, but boss was on a whole Double Max is on Justice League and my night and my final ride count was 14 on Justice League, 3 on Mr. Freeze, 2 on American Thunder, 2 on Scream and Eagle, and 1 on Boss. In terms of highlights, Boss and that was really good. 
good. Screaming Eagle Whip, that was good. American Cutter was running solid. There wasn't really a single bad ride I had today, and Mr. Wolf's also awesome. And of course, those double necks I got on just asleep. And I'll be here for quite a bit of tomorrow, so let's jump to there. It's the next day, and we're starting things a little differently today. I usually start off inside the park, but I'm getting some shots from outside of the park for today. And I remember trying to get some shots from out here back in October, but Boss was not open. And I just saw them send a train, so I know that is going. We got American Thunder on the lift hill right now. Ninja's also on the lift hill, so we're getting some shots from out here before going in.
cut a little short because boss went down and that was the main reason why I was getting shots from outside the park to get shots of boss running from out there. Since it went down, I figured I might as well just come back in because I didn't know how long it would be until they reopened it. Now that I'm inside the park, I might as well do Justice League and Mr. Freeze since I'm heading this general direction. The last few rides I had on this were double maxes and it was insane. So let's see how we do. rides on Justice League, including two double axes, and I just got an awesome ride on Mr. Freeze. I will say it wasn't quite as smooth as yesterday, but it was still by no means a bad ride. It was awesome regardless. I might check Boss, because as I was on the spike, which the train is on right now, I looked over towards Boss, and I saw that the train was not hard to where it was sitting at a little bit ago, because I saw the green train was stuck on the center brakes right after the turn after it hits the final brakes out to the double ups. So, I'm going to go over there and see if that's going to be opening anytime soon. Train is coming! still gonna be down for a while because apparently they're doing some electrical work up there even though they were testing it so we'll come back to that later let's head up towards screaming eagle and give that a try because my ride yesterday was excellent so let's see how it runs now compared to it probably not gonna be quite as good because it's not even close to dark yet but it's still worth trying and catwoman's sideways so seems like wasp might be an issue up there hopefully that doesn't bother me with eagle though because i have seen them swarm the top of eagle's look hill before so they can't exist up there but we'll find out once we get over to eagle's let's go there <laughs>
Black St. Louis, and you may recall that this plot of land was once the home of Excalibur. This is one of the rarest flat ride types in the world. I don't know the official model name, but the best way I could describe it is essentially a Huss Enterprise on a pendulum. So it's very weird to see the plot of land where the pendulum itself used to be. This is where all the gondolas were. We got some of the exit signs that show where you would go once you got off of Excalibur, which is right over there. We also have the ride's queue line still standing right over here, which that's very bizarre. I've never walked in the center of where the ride itself used to be. In case you're wondering, I did ride Excalibur a couple times. The last time I rode it was in 2017 before it underwent a major refurbishment. I thought it was very dizzying. Like, if you hated spinning, you would have hated Excalibur. So, while it was very sad to see it go, because it was like, I think the only one of its kind in the world at the time, it makes you wonder if they'll actually give it a proper replacement. Like, I feel like Joker could have gone here, but then again, the plot of land isn't exactly too large, so it couldn't really fit much else here. This is definitely an odd sight, that's for sure.
something that intense. Batman was so intense that my feet were numb, and they're still kind of numb right now. That might have been the best ride of the day. And it wasn't really much competition because Freeze and Boss, I think, are the only things to compare it to. Well, and Rookie Racer, but that's Rookie Racer. It doesn't even come close to Batman. But it was definitely better than Boss, and I think it might have been better than Freeze as well. Batman might be something I'm coming back to later, especially since I'm doing that ride on it. So we're going to try American Thunder now since we're heading this way and see how it runs because Blue Train looked like it was flying. So I want to try and get that train and see how it runs. Oh, and yeah. then we'll get back oh, to yeah. Justice League from there and then do Freeze again. get my thoughts on American Thunder. I thought it was very solid and just as good as yesterday. And then I rode back on Mr. Freeze, which was way better than my ride in the front earlier today, even though I thought the front was excellent. Then I maxed out Justice League a few more times. And now it is time for my first ever night ride on Joker Carnival of Chaos. I rode this once last week during Deer Double Days and it was sunset. So it wasn't pitch black yet. Got Mr. Freeze going there, which you might be able to see at our hotel. No rollback to be seen here. I'm excited to try Joker at night for my first time and I imagine that'll be a disorienting experience. <laughs> just got a night ride on Boss, which was awesome. And then we tried Pandemonium at night because I had not ridden it in a while. I made a prediction going in that by the time we got to the first set of switchbacks, we would be spinning a little bit and that would continue up until we had the bottom of the drop off the second last block zone, which is right here in front of you. But by the time we would hit the bottom of this drop right here, it would stop spinning. And Ellis, I think it's safe to say my prediction was correct. All this time, based on your experience, it did the same thing that you predicted. Exactly, with the car going right behind you there. And I don't know why it never spins. I mean, granted our car was bad, but still, even when it's all balanced, it rarely spins regardless. So I don't know. This thing is still my least favorite in this park. I know that's crazy, especially since you have Rookie Racer. That's a kid coaster. That thing is better than Pandemonium for me, and it's not exactly close. Because Pandemonium is Pandemidium yeah. at best. We're going to a much better night ride, and that is the Screaming Eagle set up there. We just got a night ride on Screaming Eagle, and that was absolutely ridiculous. Black Abyss, man. Yeah, straight into the Black <laughs> Abyss. And we were gonna try River King Mine Train at night, but that's not open right now. It might be down for the rest of the night, because when we were over there, we looked into the queue building, there was nobody in there. So to make up for that, we just did Batman front row night. What the Over Georgia Batman Club was that? Like, that was darn close to Over Georgia. I haven't done Over Georgia multiple times myself. That one was by far the best Batman Club I think I've done. St. Louis is just right up there with me. I think I have it like one or two spots below it in my overall list. So they're both very close, but man, Batman, it's freaking ridiculous. Definitely my fourth favorite in this park. I know it's kind of virtual to have that rank over American Thunder because it's a clone coaster, there's several of them, but I don't care. Batman's always awesome, whereas American Thunder's hit or miss.
had an absolutely bonkers marathon on Justice League to end out my night. And my final ride count for today was 21 on Justice League, 3 on Boss, 2 on Batman, Mr. Freeze, and Rookie Racer, and then 1 on American Thunder, Pandemonium, and Screaming Eagle. In terms of highlights, the marathon I did on Justice League was good. Batman was running incredible. The night ride on Boss I got was awesome. Mr. Freeze was running solid. Overall, today was a really good day here. And before we wrap this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video. Be sure to share it with some else. Man. If you're new to this channel and like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and to the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. I also have an Instagram account with the pictures I take whenever I visit the park, so be sure to check me out there as well. I'll be at the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.